All right, let's come into a seated position for our start today. And of course, get your sitting bones behind you, get a little padding there if you need to, to get that opening. Switch your legs around so you're in your non-habitual cross if you're cross-legged. And then reach up through the crown, get those ribs back toward your spine and up, shoulders back and down. Just take a moment getting focused inward, breathing deep, exhaling tension, focusing on your yoga perspective internally. Now we're going to exhale, start at the chin, tucking in and just roll slightly down. Feel that whole spine getting back a forward bend. And then inhale, start at the bottom of the spine, coming back up. And then lift your chin just slightly, not a lot. Keep stretching through the back of your neck. Drop your shoulders. Push your chest forward and up. So a little baby back bend. And again, start at the chin, tucking in, rounding. Pull the ribs in, get that core activated, and then start at the bottom, work your way back up, lift the chin slightly, but not too much, stretch through the back of the neck, and out through the top of your head. Push the chest forward and up, shoulders and shoulder blades down. And then inhale upright, and feel that spine straighten. And then let's switch the legs around. And again, sitting bones behind you. Hands cupped on your knees. Pull the ribs back. Tuck the chin. Bring your forehead down toward the floor. And then roll over to the side. And roll around to the back. Heart high as you come to the top. Exhale over to the other side. Rounding back to the center. Do that again. Over to the side. Lift your heart. Other side. And back. When you get to the front, pause, and then reverse. And again, over to the side, lift your heart, pull around, and back to the center. And to that same side, lift your heart, over to the other side, and back to the center. And then inhale, and sit back up, shoulders down. Take a moment and breathe. Oh, let's just keep switching our legs around because, yeah, that's what we do. Balance the body. Bring one hand to the floor, the other arm out, palm to the ceiling, hand above your shoulder, and slide over, facing the front so you come into that side opening stretch. Keep both sitting bones down for this one. Look up toward the ceiling a little bit so you're not leaning forward. Take a breath, bend your elbow, bring it, your arm down to the floor if you want more stretch. And then slide back up and release. Shoulders back and down. Switch your legs so we can go the other direction. Hand to the floor, arm out to the side, palm up, arm over your shoulder. Keep those shoulders down, slide to the side. Remember, face the front, no twisting on this one, don't look down, and just keep sliding out or bend your elbow, but put both sitting bones to the floor so you're getting a really good stretch on that side that's opening. Exhale, relax, and then inhale back up and release. Shoulders back and down, and Take one hand to that opposite elbow, other arm out, stretch the spine apart. This time you can lift that back hip as you come into your twist just slightly. And then put your hand close to your body on the floor, stretch up, exhale, deepen into your twist. So keep the whole spine moving, don't keep that back side planted. Let the whole spine turn in its twist. And then bring your hand back up, follow it back around to the center and release. And again, switch your legs. Shoulders back and down, hand to the other knee, arm out, and follow it around to the back. 
Again, drop that hand to the floor, stretch up, exhale, deepen your twist as much as you'd like on this side. Take a breath, just relax. And bring your arm up, follow it back around to the center and release. Lift your knees, bring your legs out to the front into staff position. Press out through the bottoms of your feet. Bring your one foot up to the inner upper leg and let the knee come down to the floor, getting that hip rotator working. So knee drops toward the floor. Remember, you can put your hands there, but don't press, just add weight. Exhaling tension, knee and toes up on that leg out in front. Remember, you can bring it to the side if it feels like that would help your pelvis open a little bit easier. Just relax. Let the knee just do its own thing. And then bring the foot and knee into your hands or pull the leg in closer and rotate back and forth. Get that hip moving. Feel that warming sensation in the outside of that hip rotator. Bring it higher or closer if you love it or not. And then release that leg. Feel the two sides, they're going to be different. So balance your body, bring that other foot up to the thigh. And again, just let the knee come down, press out through the bottom of your foot, keeping the knee and toes up, even if it's over to the side for that extended to the front leg. Just relax, you can again add a little weight, but no pressure, exhaling tension. And then bring the foot and knee into your hands or pull your leg in. And again, just move it so that hip rotator gets a little bit more lubrication. Breathing, shoulders down. You can bring the foot up closer or higher if you want. And again, just releasing that, bring the legs back to the center. Take a moment there, breathing. Press out through the bottoms of your feet. Keep the feet hip width apart. And then bend your knees and bring those heels in with the knees straight up. Take a moment to feel that you're still on those sitting bones. Core active. Lean slightly back. Get it a little bit more working for you. Shoulders down. Hands, palms up to keep your shoulders releasing. Take a moment and just feel your body. Maybe lean a little bit further back, but still stay on your sitting bone. So we're working that core, not rolling onto your sacrum. And then inhale back up, slide the legs out. And then bend the knees, bring them under and come into child's pose. Hips back on your heels, hands, palms up, forehead down, shoulders toward the floor. Take a breath and bring your arms out to the front. So hands shoulder width apart, slide them way forward, spread your fingers out, and then pivot up onto your hands and knees. Knees right under your hips, palms a little bit in front of your shoulders. We're going to go up into down dog. So come up way onto your fingertips. Press the knuckles of your fingers and the base of your fingers and the whole palm and the heel of your palm down and get really connected into your hands. Fingers are spread out. Tuck your toes under. Slide back onto the balls of your feet, base of your toes with the knees coming up. And then pull your chest all the way into your thighs. Push your sitting bones up toward the ceiling. Sink your heels down toward the floor. They probably won't get there, that's okay. Arms are right next to your ears. Lift your ribs toward your spine and heart. Push your sitting bones up and back toward like the corner of the room and your head toward your hands. So down dog, V-shaped position. Just get that sitting bones lifting, that hip crease is where you're bent from, not through your waist. And then, Walk your hands slowly back towards your feet and just hang the right dog. And slowly work your way all the way up and into mountain pose. So as you come to the center of your mat and mountain pose, just spread your toes, 
Sink evenly into the base of your toes and heels. Roll your shoulders back a couple of times. And come into your standing position, core active, crown toward the ceiling. And then keep lengthening through the spine, base of the skull and base of the spine stretching apart. And then swing just gently side to side in the windmill, just getting that spine a little bit more activated today. Exhale any tension. And then come back to the center. Pull the shoulders around a few times. Keep your toes spreading and the top of your head lifting toward the ceiling. And then separate the toes a little bit so your whole leg is turning out, knees going towards still the second toe. Bend your knees, hands above your knees. Remember, no, no pressure in those hands. We're going to bring that shoulder across toward that opposite knee, bringing it down. So your whole spine is turning slightly toward the side. You're pushing the hips slightly back as you bring that shoulder across toward the knee. Just a gentle little twist. Keep stretching the spine apart and turn back to the center. Stretch it apart again. Shoulder toward that opposite knee, turning and looking toward that other side. A little twist to the spine. And then back to the center. Stretch the spine straight and long. Tuck your chin, straighten your knees, drop down, touch the floor. And then come all the way up, straighten your knees and hands to your hips. So we're going to just frog squat. So again, slide all the way down. You can't make it to the floor. You can come to your knees if that's too much for you going to the floor. And then come on back up. Exhale down, squatting into your frog. Inhale back up. Exhale down. Inhale up. And we do that a couple more times, coming into that squat and standing. And then the next time you're standing, separate your feet a little bit more. And we're going to squat again. This time, come all the way to the floor if you can. And we're going to come into an actual squat. So bring your hands to your heart and your arms inside your knees. Kind of press your arms and knees toward each other. Sitting bones are behind you. Straighten your spine as much as you can. Take a breath. Exhale, hands to the floor, straightening your knees, inhaling, coming back up. And we're going to do that one one more time. I know it's a little challenging. So if you can't quite make it to the floor, that's okay. Just go as far as you can. All the way down. Hands to your heart. Elbows, arms inside your knees. Straighten your spine. Coming into the squat. Take a breath. Exhale, hands to the floor or just down and inhale, straightening everything, coming back up. And then feet back to hip width apart. Take a moment, breathing as you get back into mountain pose, feel your body. Hands to your heart, inhale toward the ceiling, thumbs coming back, lifting your heart. Exhale, hands to your chest. And then pivot over and drag dog. Slide your hands up under your knees. Get that halfway up stretch. Exhale back down. Bend your knees if you want. And then inhale, slowly coming back all the way toward the ceiling. Another little back bend, lifting your heart, hands to your chest, and back into mountain pose. As you get back to mountain pose, just check your positioning. Toes straight ahead, sitting bones down, ribs in and up, shoulders back and down. Bring your arms out, palms toward the ceiling, hands over your shoulders. Stretch up through your fingertips and your head. Bend your knees toward, not beyond your toes. Push those sitting bones way back. Come squatting into your chair position this time. Take a breath. Sink as deep as you want. Keep your spine as straight as you can. Arms right next to your ears, fingertips reaching out. Stretch it. 
And then lead with your fingertips, coming back up. Hands out, exhaling back down into mountain pose. Shoulders rolling around a couple of times just to straighten things out. So we're going to do that one again with our squat, or a twist rather. So remember, toes straight ahead, those knees go toward but not beyond your second toes. Arms out, palms toward the ceiling, hands above your shoulders. Take a breath, exhale, squat into your chair position. So those sitting bones go way back. Just come down as deep into your squat as you want. Bring your hands together to your heart. Stretch that spine apart. Remember, you want the bones separating to twist and turn to the side. You can go a little, or if you can, you can pull that knee all the way to the outside of the, or elbow outside of the knee. Keep your hands at your chest, at your heart, and turn your whole body into your twist. Keep those knees going toward your toes. Sitting bones and crown reaching away. Exhale, turn back toward the floor. Reach your hands out next to your ears. And again, fingertips leading back all the way up. Hands out and down into mat pose. Again, you can shoulders roll a little bit to release any tension there, because you know what we have to do next. Yeah, balance the body going the opposite way. Sitting bones down, core active, arms out, palms toward the ceiling, hands above your shoulders. Take a breath, exhale into your squat. Sitting bones back, arms stay by your ears, knees toward your toes but not beyond. Squat as deeply as you want. Hands to your heart in prayer position. Stretch the spine apart and twist. You can go a little or you can go further. Twist as much as you want, but remember that whole body turns just, not just your head. Take a breath. Sitting bones and crowns stretch apart. And then exhale back to the center. Release your arms back next to your ears. Fingertips lead, coming back up. And again, arms out and down. Mountain pose. Shoulders circling. And release. Pick your favorite balance foot. We'll do a little balance warm up. Spread your toes as you put them down. Keep the base of the toes, balls of the toes down. Knee going towards your second toe, ankle, knee, hip, shoulder lined up, core activated, shoulders back and down. Crown to the ceiling, stretch it apart, bring your other leg up. So stay low or bring it toward your foot. Find your balance and circle your ankle. Always keeping those ankles flexible, breathing, shoulders relaxing, doing what's right for you, and then releasing to mountain pose. Shift what work to the other side. Remember, you want to get a good base of support. Don't crunch those toes down. That just lifts the base and gives you less support. Sitting bones down, core activated, shoulders relaxing. Round to the ceiling, bringing the other foot up. And again, only as high as you want to go on this side. Don't cross that leg over, just circle the ankle, bringing it straight up. Take a breath or two. And when you're ready, release. And again, hands to your heart. Shoulders down, stretch the back of your neck out through the crown. We'll look at your hands, bringing them up. A little back bend, lifting your heart, bring those thumbs as far back as you want as you gaze at them, but remember, keep that neck stretching. Hands to your heart, pivot on over, ragdoll. Hands up under your knee, under your knees on your shins, just halfway up, stretch, stretching and straightening. Elbows, knees, and spine all straight and open. And then bend your knees, exhaling back all the way to the mat, into child's pose once more. Hips back on your heels, shoulders forward, and tuck slightly in, and don't forget to breathe. Remember, you're 
your hands to the front to the sides of the mat. Pivot up, slide your legs back, feet to the end of the mat, roll onto your hips and chest and forehead. Hands at your side, turn your head to one side, rest in crocodile. Take a moment there, just breathing. And exhale, turn your head to the opposite side. Take a moment, just getting everything settled into the floor. We're going to do an upper body cobra. So bring your forehead to the floor. Bring your arms along the floor out in front of you. Shoulder width apart. Bring the fingertips back to the heels of your palms. And then your whole hand back, palms down, shoulder width apart. Elbows going out toward the sides of your mat. Forehead stays on the floor to start. Relax that lower body. Remember, it does nothing. So feet hip width apart, just let them sink. Hips down, inhale, face to the front, crown toward the ceiling. Tuck the chin back slightly so that neck keeps stretching. Chest forward and up, and coming into that upper body cobra. Reach out through the crown, sink down through the ribs. Stretch back through your toes, and remember, not a lot of pressure in those arms or hands. They're just positioning it so that that cobra back bend is maximizing up in that neck area. Stretch it out, even while it's back bending. Take a breath and exhale forehead, forehead back to the floor. When it gets all the way down, again, fingertips into the heel of your palm, palm coming back still above your head. Elbows out toward the side, forehead on the floor, everything else just sinking into the mat. And then inhaling, face forward, crown up, tuck the chin back, stretch that back of the neck out through the base of the skull, and lift your heart forward and up. So coming into more of that shoulder area this time for the back bend, but keep stretching out through the base of the skull, through the neck making sure everything is stretching apart in your spine as you're in that back bend cobra. Stretch the crown up a little bit further if you love it, and then exhale and rotate your forehead back to the floor. As you get down, once again, just relax and bring the fingertips in one more time, hands back closer toward your temples, elbows out even further toward the side. Feet hip width apart, hips relaxing down, forehead starts on the floor and then inhaling, face forward, crown up, tuck that chin back toward your chest, stretch the spine apart through the base of the skull, through the neck, and out through the crown. Chest forward and up, lift a little higher if you like, and this time probably a little bit more contraction back toward the shoulder blade area of your upper back. Take a breath. And just notice that the further out your hands were, the higher up your contraction point was, the closer to your shoulders, the further down your spine it goes. Take a breath and exhale back, forehead to the floor. So yogi me choice, move your hands where you like. If you like that shoulder blade area, leave them there, move them out a little, move them out further for that neck area. Always personal practice, your choice. Elbows out toward the sides, palms down, right in front of your shoulders. Inhale, face forward, crown to the ceiling. Tuck your chin back toward your chest a little bit and keep stretching through that neck, chest forward and up, whichever position your hands are in, feeling that contraction wherever along your spine it is. If you got it in the wrong position, Exhale back, forehead to the floor. Move the hands either closer to bring it down toward your shoulder blades or further away up into your neck. Take a breath as you get into your position. Keep that chin slightly tucked. Keep that spine opening, crown reaching away. Keep breathing. And don't forget to stretch everything back through your toes as well. Ribs stay on the floor, whatever position you're in. Just feel that upper body back bending into your cobra. Take a breath wherever you are. Exhale and bring your forehead all the way to the mat. As you get down, bring your hands under your shoulders this time. And we're going to push up and back 
again in the child's pose. Take a moment, getting that forward bend, stretch, tuck your chin in, get a good stretch through the whole back of your body. And then inhale up, bring your feet to the end of the mat. Into staff position, press up through the bottoms of your feet, get your core active, shoulders relaxing down, use your core and slowly roll to the floor. As you get all the way down, just take a moment, recline integration, getting those shoulders releasing. And then bring your arms to T position. Arms up or down, we're going to do our bent knee twist. Just relax those arms and shoulders. Hands, palms up or down, your choice. Sitting bones toward your heels, back pressing down. Draw those heels in near your sitting bones, knees straight up. Press your back to the floor, lift your feet, knees right above your hips. You can cross that leg over the other one if you want a little bit more intense low back twist today, or leave them next to each other. And then roll the knees over to the side as you turn toward the opposite side. Shoulders down, get that nice middle back twist, head turning for your neck area twist, keep stretching out through the crown, through the base of the skull. And just let those knees drop toward the floor as far as they want to go. Get padding if you need to, if that's too intense in your lower back. Take a breath, just release any tightness. And when you're ready to release your twist, heels toward your hips, rolling onto your back. If you crossed your legs, uncross, straighten it out if you need to, and cross them the other way if you had them crossed. We're going to roll, of course, the knees to the opposite side for this second twist, turning your head to the arm now behind you. Again, letting the knees come as much toward the floor as your lower back needs or wants. Shoulders down for that middle back twist and head turning, but stretching it out for that neck area twist. Take a breath. Exhale, just relax. Tension releasing. And spine twisting maybe a little deeper. So remember, you can hold these twists longer on your own, but we need a little relaxation time. So bring your heels toward your hips, roll onto your back, uncross your legs if they were crossed. Straighten things out and slide your legs into corpse position, hands, palms up at your sides. Shoulders down, take a deep breath. Exhale, just let your body grow heavy and sink deep into that surface beneath you. Move your head around, circle your chin a couple of times each way. Let that neck area release. Relax your shoulders. Let your hands be palms up so those shoulders can sink. Toes toward each other and then just releasing, letting your body soften and sink. Deepen into your earth support, letting your body go. Exhaling any tension, focusing inward, and allowing your awareness, just releasing your body. And know that as other thoughts flood into your mind, you can release them as well. Know that it's the job of your mind to produce those thoughts. It's your choice whether you pay attention at this moment, you can just let those thoughts drift away as you easily as your breath, allowing the mind to release, the body to relax, and your attention to release both your body and your mind. Focus inward, find that peace deep within. Feel your awareness with peace, your body with peace, your mind being peace.
And if you have time to keep relaxing today, take as much time as you have opportunity. If it's time to return for the rest of your day, just begin drawing energy and awareness with your breath back to the moment, to the room, and to your body. As you begin breathing more deeply, begin moving your body gently, however it feels right for you today. And as you breathe more fully and stretch more completely, when you're ready for that final yoga hug of appreciation, sitting bones for your heels, draw your heels up towards your hips, your knees up towards your heart, have your arms around, give yourself that appreciative yoga hug, however feels good for you today. Let your body know you appreciate its yoga work and the work your body does for you every day. And when you're ready to release, head and feet to the floor, rolling to the side, and then sitting back up, getting ready for whatever's ahead for you. Thanks for joining me.